Welcome back. Well, yesterday, Biker Jim taught us how to make his famous bat wings, and today we're getting back into the kitchen for more gory goodness for your Halloween. We're going to do uh, vampire kiss cupcakes. Dark, dark chocolate cupcakes stuffed with strawberry jam and a uh, white velvet cream cheese frosting with a couple of bite marks in it. These are double chocolate cupcakes. And you can see I've cut little holes in them, cut a little plug. This here is a combination of strawberry jam and a little bit of red food coloring. So uh, if you want, you can take frozen strawberries, macerate them, cook them down, add sugar, a little cornstarch, or you can grab a jar of strawberry jam out of the fridge, put them in a bowl, stir it up, touch a food coloring, because I wanted it to be super red. And then basically we're just gonna fill these guys with a little bit of the jam. Plug them. Boink. Boink. <laughs> Some cream cheese frosting here. Oh, yum. So what I'm trying to do is just mm -hmm. kind of paint them with the black and white thing. And normally I am way more of a chocolate icing fan, but there's a reason we went for white today. All right. And now I'm sure there are some cake baker, uh, cake decorators out there that are looking at this going, what's well, a good thing this guy sells hot dogs because <laughs> not the most beautiful cake decorator in the world. Uh, better than I can do, I can tell you that. Well, I do make stuff that tastes good. So, you know, learning how to make things look good, that'll be my next generation. All right, somewhere here, I have a straw. Now I'm using the straw, basically punch in a couple of bite marks. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and you can see the jam inside starting to come out a little bit. And then I took some of that strawberry jam and um, thinned it out a little bit with just a little bit of water, make it kind of pourable. And then I'm gonna make me some light marks. Oh, it is. There's gonna be a, there's, it's gonna come blurting out, probably go all over my shirt and stuff. <laughs> there's, there is a thick, there's a piece of strawberry in there that I didn't want to go through. That's a great uh, idea, just, though. But this is how my life goes. And then when they get done, they look just like this. Since that one came out, <laughs> that one didn't. Um, so you just have the lovely little bite marks. Some of the drink. Now, I thought about doing a cocktail, and then I realized, you know, I haven't drank in almost 40 years, so maybe I'll try something not booze delicious. And we're gonna do a blackened lemonade with cherry ice cubes and uh, red rimmed glasses. So, made some lemonade, simple sugar, water, stir it up, throw in some lemons. Got a couple of glasses here. I don't know if you can see these glasses, but they uh, I coated them with black sugar and one with red sugar, which you can easily find like Michael's or any, uh, any bakery store. Just kind of make them look cool. And I made, I took, you can take strawberry juice, which might be easier. I just took, or I'm sorry, cherries. I took cherries and macerated them, um, cooked them down with water and sugar, and made some ice cubes. Oh my gosh. And so I wanted a little color combination. Now, the secret to making black lemonade, or really any kind of black beverage you want, there's a couple of secrets. You can use black food dye. Like I used enough food dye with the, uh, with the chicken wings. Mm -hmm. So these are, I don't know if you can see these very well. These are charcoal, active charcoal uh, capsules. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is add two capsules of this nauseous looking, you know, there's so many dark, weird looking things I'm playing with today. <laughs> and if any of these actually have any charcoal in them, there we go, toss them into there. see all of a sudden it goes from nice and clear and yellow to this nauseous looking I wouldn't call it poison brew but uh, you know it, it, it ain't quite as colorful as it was before yeah and the Thank idea you. is when you, when you pour it in I mean it's lemon juice for sure or lemonade when you pour it in you're gonna see your red ice cubes float to the top and then as they melt they're gonna just add that cherry flavor to your lemonade um, 
a fun little garnish for these guys. Lemon slices, a touch of red food coloring on them. Oh my goodness. And so trying to make things pretty for a change. Like yeah. I said, dec decorating isn't necessarily my thing, but working on it. We have blood filled cupcakes and we have this obnoxious witch's brew of lemonade <laughs> that tastes fantastic. Well, Biker Jim, that sounds like a meal fit for any monster out there, but I am definitely a huge fan. Thank you so much for coming on the show and giving us some fun ideas for this Halloween. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Send us your pictures. We want to know how your Halloween feast turned out. Just tag us with hashtag BeyondCoco and go grab a dog from Biker Jim's Gourmet Hot Dogs just downtown off of Larimer. Learn, learn more online at bikerjimsdogs.com.